So the basic problem was getting the two eyes working together and trying to restore that. And so we, we um, serendipitously came across um, a procedure that we were, um, that could be used for that while we were trying to measure exactly how much one eye suppressed the other eye. And so by imbalancing the contrast between the two eyes, we could, we could um, arrange viewing conditions whereby all amblyopes would use both eyes together and would combine information between the two eyes. And um, that meant that we could restore binocular vision under these viewing conditions. And then it was a small step there to, to show that over time, um, the brain strengthened its connections and allowed the two eyes to work together under, under many more contrast conditions until finally they could work together even when the contrast was the same in both eyes. So, and um, so we decided, well, how can we design a treatment for this? And so we decided to, to use a video game because we thought we'll make it more fun than the patching was. And, um, and we wanted a video game where you could only play it if you can use the information from both eyes at the same time. So that was our guarantee that they were using both eyes together. So it's a treatment of getting the two eyes working together. And so we started out with Tetris, where the falling blocks were seen by one eye at a high contrast. That's, that's their bad eye. And, and the ground plane blocks were seen by the good eye at a low contrast to allow their both eyes to, to work together. And then over, over gameplay of an hour a day for about four weeks, four to six weeks, we slowly changed the contrast until finally we got it back so that both eyes saw the same contrast, which is what they would see in the physical world. And so when both eyes saw the same contrast, um, their two eyes were working normally together. And so then they could walk around the world without looking at a, this video game and they would be, they'd be in a situation where they'd be work, you know, working together. And we found that by getting the two eyes to work together, the vision in the amblyopic eye improved. So it was right. It was that was the right way around, and um, so. Um, but our main um, objective was not to necessarily improve the vision in the amblyopic eye. It was more to get both eyes working because the benefits of having two eyes um, are huge uh, compared with the benefits of just improving the vision in one eye when you're not using the other. 